Hey YouTube, hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So guys, in today's video, we'll discuss something really, really, really interesting. And my effort will be that after watching this video, you will never doubt the law of attraction and the power of the law of attraction and manifestation ever, ever again, right? Because I will prove it scientifically, uh, you know, um, and this is what made the shift for me. So earlier I was reading a lot of personal development books, but I was not very much pro law of attraction and manifestation. But when I studied uh, and started learning about the quantum science and especially in the quantum science, there were three principles which directly, uh, you know, uh, will help you understand the law of attraction. But this this one um, experiment which was done, which, uh, you know, we'll talk about in this video, which was which basically will make a fundamental shift in your understanding of how things work, how the universe functions, right? So watch this video till the end, guys, and this will be very, very helpful to you. And my effort would be that you will start believing in the science of uh, manifestation and a uh, law of attraction and use it to then improve your life to really good things in the in the world, right? So um, first you have to understand what is the meaning of quantum science what is the basic meaning of quantum science so when we live in the world we live in this uh, uh, you know when we see things around us they function with the laws of physics the three main laws of physics which basically decide pretty much everything which are given to us by the newton right and that is why we call that we live in a newtonian world which works based uh, which works based on the principles of uh, Newton which were given the three laws of Newton right now what happens when you go to the very microscopic scale so for example I have this water bottle over here if I just put a magnifying glass right on the surface of this water bottle and I keep magnifying it keep magnifying it right I'll go to the molecular structure of this water bottle and uh, ultimately if I'll continue to magnify I'll go to this atomic structure which is the most unbreakable structure which cannot be broken further now the atom inside atom there are subatomic particles the neutrons electrons and protons now what is what laws are deciding uh, the behavior of these subatomic particles the scientists have found that and physicists have found that that they are not newtonian laws different um, rules and different uh, you know uh, prin the different principles and different logic applies in the subatomic world and that is why this is called as a quantum world and it is called as a, it has given to the rise of quantum physics right uh, now these uh, equations were given by schrodinger and a lot of other scientists but what is important for us uh, you know in terms of personal development in terms of applying this thing into our life is, is the understanding of the double slit experiment it basically breaks down the very fabric of reality and it establishes the dual nature of electron or the dual nature of subatomic particles right so what was this experiment this was a very simple experiment here uh, it's shown as the light source in this figure but you can consider also as an electron gun now, the very simple function of an electron gun uh, consider electrons as bullets is to fire these bullets right and then um, physicists or the scientists in this ex this experiment placed a shield in front of the bullet right and there were two holes in the bullet and from each hole the bullets were passing and then there was a continuous uh, screen in the end right so whichever bullet was passing from this slit was uh, forming an impact over here and whichever bullet was passing from this shield was forming an impact over here this is what should have normally happened if electrons would be behaving as particles right and what they noticed very interestingly that when a camera was watching or an observer was watching so they did it in both ways when a physically a person was watching then the same pattern was forming electron was behaving as a particle and two clear patterns were forming and when not even a real person but a camera was placed then also this pattern was established the same pattern whenever then any observation is happening now something really 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 interesting happened which basically amazed everyone you know the entire scientific community when they removed the camera and the person and the electron gun continued to fire this is what happened 
the same electron gun was firing from both these slits but uh, what they saw was not two bands but multiple bands now guys this is very important to understand over here that on the screen multiple bands were formed and they can only form if there is an interference now interference is a characteristic characteristic of the waves not particles so whenever a wave is form is passing through this right it is breaking down into sub uh, waves right likewise for this and whenever those sub waves are interacting with each, with each other they are forming interference patterns meaning the crests were combining with troughs or crests etc so there were like many different patterns will be forming and as a result of this the impact which will be seen on this will be similar to this image where multiple uh, impacts will be seen right so this was fascinating because when no one was watching the same electron was behaving as a wave and not a particle right now this was then again done and even i had done this in my 12th class in the physics lab right this experiment with lasers where we did the same thing pretty much with the laser but we established the interference pattern we didn't do it with the person watching right because light is known to behave uh, you know the photons are um, anyway the waves right so we were doing the pretty much similar thing where we were showing uh, you know in a 12th class experiment the interference pattern but the one which was happened on electron was fascinating and now this basically goes on to say whenever you're observing things you're creating reality but whenever you're closing your eyes it's nothing it's basically a wave of possibility now think about this guys although i have mentioned this in my previous video somewhere but think about it about it this is so important and this can be so life transforming meaning when you close your eyes the world who ceases to exist there is just a wave of possibility it's wave it's not particle and now since it is wave it can be changed it can be the form of it can be changed with a strong enough intention and this is why dr joe dispenza comes in because his whole teaching is based on this very foundation of quantum physics and that is why he teaches us to become very 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 strong observers now here one argument which came Uh, from scientific community was that although this observation now what what do i mean by observer so this very act of observing and collapsing of the wave functions into particles which was happening in the double slit experiment is named as the observer's effect now the concern here from the scientific community was that the observer's effect is very well applicable when it is applied on the subatomic particles but not in the newtonian world which is the 3d world which we are living in you know the where not the subatomic world but the bigger world like where we live in it does not apply the observer's effect does not apply well guys we have seen that uh, and this is how dr joe dispenza explains it we have seen that and it has been proven now that it applies in the quantum world in quantum world basically when applied uh, when there are like billions of atoms of forming us right so we are also a creation of the quantum world and if it applies to quantum world it applies to us as well and what if uh, we become a very strong observer if we are a weak observer we are just observing for a minute and then doing 99 point uh, then throughout the 99.99% of the day we do our regular activities of determined by the same beliefs and behaviors coming from the past we will not change but what if we become very strong observer we do our meditation we do our practices we do hoponopono uh, like the way i teach right 15 20 minutes we do it uh, with spaced repetition what if we do this we will become at least mid level good observers and with that level of observation what is the change what we can do we can do really really big change in our life and that is why we see all these crazy stories people who just try visualization people who just try affirmation and mental picture making people who just try hoponopono for a week to 10 days report amazing results and that is exactly because of the reason why and the uh, proof is right over here is because they become strong enough observer right and when they introduce an intention then they are collapsing the wave functions to create that reality and over time the change is so subtle that we don't even know that the change has happened and we are living in the world the new world which we have created 
all right guys so this was the pivotal point when my belief in law of attraction and manifestation was like there was this was the aha moment oh my god like this thing is real like it has been proven by physics and now it all makes sense why visualization would work why law of attraction why affirmations would work why mental picture making would work right anything which is changing your belief and perceptions and giving you a strong enough uh, belief that that thing can happen and you visualize it and when you're opening your eyes you're basically collapsing the wave functions to create that reality it's a simple explanation and it works so thanks again for watching the video guys i hope you liked it if you did like it do give it a thumbs up to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and i will see you again in my next video till then take care bye bye